Jerry Slater, a half. Good job, John John. from Maumee Marathon there. <laughs> Crazy driver. excited a little bit nervous but this is uh, it's gonna be fun tomorrow setting to get the packet now So we're here in the hotel now, um, just checked in and uh, I already got my packet. Um, this is my number for tomorrow. Um, splits for tomorrow that I'm doing, uh, I think it's easier for me to, um, to see or to update my uh, progress. Uh, during the race uh, it's a lot easier for me to see it and um, it will give me more um, data while I go uh, mile per mile <laughs> so um, yeah like uh, just getting here maybe like rest for like 10 minutes I'm actually like starving uh, I normally like to eat uh, like a good sandwich like uh, I eat Subway because it has like some vegetables and stuff it's good for me and uh, that's something uh, really heavy uh, that's for lunch and then I'm gonna eat like pasta maybe tonight just to have some more energy for tomorrow and uh, yeah we're just resting for right now it's gonna be for lunch and some good veggies so, my biggest fans right there so that looks really good let's eat we're here at the Toledo Metro Parks going for a little walk while daddy relaxes and prepares for his big race tomorrow. Dinner time. Gonna get some spaghetti. Uh, I need to back up for tomorrow for some energy. I'm just waiting. So uh, we're back in the hotel now, and uh, everything is pretty much ready for tomorrow. Need to get some good rest, and um, so this is actually my uh, gear for tomorrow. It's all ready, and I just need to get some good rest. The good thing is, I'm already tired, and uh, see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, <coughs> we're just getting ready, and uh, I think this is it. Feeling pretty good. Um, I had my coffee and stuff. I'm just trying to shove like the food into my mouth because I don't really have any appetite, but I really need to eat. So time check is like 5:49. We're leaving like 10 minutes. Um, feeling pretty good and uh, had a pretty good sleep. So let's do this.
So please, this is for the relay team. As soon as the race starts, head to the buses so that they can get out of here. Hey guys, what's up? So as what you've seen in the video, I actually didn't get the qualifying time for Boston. So I ran 3 hours, 8 minutes and 32 seconds. That's my official time. Uh, before I tell you everything about the race, uh, I actually made uh, a video about my final thoughts and my fitness going to this race. Uh, I made it the day, or actually that was the day of the race. Uh, and uh, of course, we were busy. Uh, we were just packing stuff and everything. We we're just trying to go to Toledo. And uh, I just don't want to forget anything. It's uh, it's because like you know like I want to be sure that I uh, I have everything going to the race. And I actually made the video, but you know it's kind of like too late now for me to like publish it because the race is already done. So, but anyway, and uh, this is not an excuse why I didn't get the qualifying time for Boston. I'm just trying to tell you guys everything, the situation, and uh, this is just a fact, and this is not an excuse at all. Why I didn't get the qualifying time for Boston? But anyway, um, so uh, I normally do. Uh, I actually miss uh, two of my specific workouts going to this race. Uh, the first one was uh, my uh, tune-up race. Uh, I normally do a half marathon tune-up race going to full marathon, and I do that like two to three weeks before the race. And uh, I just didn't have the chance to do that for some reason. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, uh, I normally do a tune-up race because it's really helpful for me, especially that I haven't done a race in like five months. And if I'm trying to run like a three or five marathon, that's actually like a really hard uh, like time for me to get. And uh, I haven't done in a race for like a long time. And uh, tune-up race is really good because uh, uh, it helps me to get used to the crowd again, not to go out too quick. And, you know, like things like that could happen uh really bad if you know like you haven't done a race for a long time and i uh based on my experience that's why i kind of like want to do like a tune-up race going to, to like the marathon or whatever kind of race like i kind of like try to do like a or especially like a marathon or longer races i normally do a tune-up race and also to see where my fitness is at and um uh, i normally do this and i just run like the marathon pace most mostly and just kind of feel like how does it feel to run like this like with the crowd and everything like that and uh i'm not like trying to run a pr pace here but you know if i'm actually feeling good like i might start picking up and if it's a pr like time for half marathon that's actually a really good thing but i just don't want to overdo it if i can run a little bit quicker or faster than my race pace or a pr time that would be amazing but i just want to make sure that i'm not do overdoing it because i want to don't want to get injured or like i just want to be healthy going to the race and that's the whole reason why i do this uh workouts and it's also like give gives me confidence going to the race that i can run this pretty easy so uh and that's like a really strong solid time also for a half marathon it's kind of like i've done that and then you know that's like one of the uh, solid workout going to the marathon and of course the second thing is uh i do like a 20 23 mile long run um four weeks or five or six to four weeks before the race i do that because um uh at like 30 40 30 seconds lower than my race pace it seems to sound like pretty easy workout but of course my legs are actually still like pretty tired from all the workouts that i've done or from all the runs that i've done i normally do this with uh 
like 30 40 miles with my legs um from all of the runs i've done like i i normally like still pretty tired from all the runs within that week so that that's why this kind of effort is kind of like really close to a marathon effort because your legs are still tired from all the runs that you've done because you, you have like 30 40 miles in your legs and you know running a 40 30 seconds slower than your race pace uh at like 23 mile distance is actually like feels like a marathon effort so those are the two things that i normally do it gives me the confidence going to the race in this like two specific workouts that i normally like to before going to the race for me to feel very confident going to the race but you know um i haven't done this i haven't done that this year because for some reason but that's not an excuse um but anyway uh so let's go back to the race so uh i i told myself like i said like the only thing that i can do is like just try to run as efficient as i can for the entire race hopefully and uh in, my, in the back of my mind like just even like reaching like a half marathon at this pace i would be very happy so but anyway uh so it's basically the same as like what happened last year um there was no uh pacer for 305 and that's kind of like actually uh frustrating because you know uh running at this pace is really hard already like i'm not really um of course i'm not uh familiar at this pace and for me to like run this by myself or kind of like to do all my, my own thing is like really hard so what i did last year is the same thing i like run with someone that can actually run the pace evenly and that's the best thing that i can do and run as efficient as i can so uh, i was running with this guy for basically like for the whole uh, half marathon this guy can hit like 650 to 705 pace like pretty good and you know when you're running like as like a 703 pace like it's kind of really hard to hit that so you as long as you're not like running like 10 seconds more than 10 seconds faster than the race pace i think you should be fine because like you're kind of like within that range i think that's not like too hard that's just my opinion so but anyway like i was we were like running 650 ish miles in you know like 705 and things like that and you know uh i was really shocked when i hit uh half marathon at 131 30 and I was still feeling pretty good. Uh, I'm not saying that it was really easy. It like I was still feeling okay. Probably, say, I was probably say like seventy percent good. Um, uh, and then um, the only problem was like the second half of the race is like you kind of like you you're gonna run in the section where it's kind of like a busy road and it's like a little slight uphill, and we were facing a lot of headwinds. And um, I think the guy that I was running with he started. To pick up a little bit the pace i was already like running 650 pace and it was still a little bit ahead of me so i said like uh i cannot run quicker than this because this is already like fast and i was already like like 13 seconds quicker than my pace that i should be going so i'll just try to keep i just tried to do this on my own now i think and the bad part is like we we're facing a lot of headwinds and uh you know um that's really hard plus like slight uphill if you're trying to run the pace that you want and it's kind of like you're making like double effort just to hit that so i got really tired and i was like running pretty much solo for the entire for the second half by myself and to make the long story short um don't get me wrong toledo is actually like a flat course like pretty flat and it's like a fast course that's all i can say but you know um sometimes things happen like just headwinds and stuff like that and we're getting tired there's a little bit of like uh uphill but if there weren't actually headwinds i think it should be pretty okay but anyway um yeah um i was basically like running by myself and i started to feel it and uh, at mile 23 i just felt like nothing really left in the tank and i did pretty much everything that i could uh i dug deep like really deep and i was just even trying to like do the the strategy where you know like i was like stop I stopped looking at my watch because I know uh, it's discouraging because I'm seeing like my pace is like 20, 30 seconds lower. The next thing that I need to do is like just try to catch the pe the, the person in front of me, like just kind of like do like gradually. Uh, so I did that. Uh, so I was actually kind kind of trying to uh, was hitting the splits like I was getting a little bit quicker, but not like the pace that I really wanted. But I was still like um you know like like. Uh, 
uh, improving. Like my speed is improving a little bit, but uh, you know, at, at mile twenty three, it's just like, you know, I stopped there. I actually been like walk three times, because there was like nothing really left in the tank. But I told myself like, uh, to be honest, like uh, I would say like maybe like if I could just like keep going for the last for the next three miles, I would probably be able to hit it because I even had like a. A minute cushion but you know like there was really nothing left it's i just didn't have the endurance to endure for the entire 26.2 miles like on the other hand i was very happy because i actually reached 23 miles at that i was still on track at 23 miles but there's nothing really left in the tank and and that like the like the last 10k of the course the last 10k of the course is actually like a 5k loop where you have to do it twice and uh it's kind of like a, in the middle of nowhere so that's also kind of like a mental thing uh, for me and uh, I was just running by myself there it was like really hard mentally but you know uh, things happen like that like you know um, but I'm really happy to like still run a 308 32 uh, marathon to start the year with a solid time I'm still very grateful for that and uh, yeah um, overall very grateful to God for this opportunity for the strength that he has given me uh, to do all of these things is like really really amazing feeling i'm just very grateful to god for everything and uh this is not the end you know uh, i'm still gonna pursue it uh my next uh attempt is gonna be in october uh there's like a columbus marathon so uh now i learned a lot from this race uh, i'm gonna try to like really train a little bit harder and put like more quality long runs i think and uh that's all i can do and i'm gonna try to learn um to train like uh harder but of course smarter and uh i just want to be healthy going to the race that's the most important thing going to the race at the starting line like healthy and like ready to go and uh, yeah uh this is not the end uh i'm still gonna pursue it and uh this gives me excitement uh like pursuing this uh goal because i know this is not easy there's a reason why like there's like a lot of people wants to try geek, uh, boston qualifying time and it's like it's not easy at all you really have to work to be able to get this and um yeah that's all i can say and uh thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel i'm gonna make like a second uh episode of like the chasing three or five marathon like the second chapter uh, and then i'm gonna be like of course like training for uh, uh i'm gonna be doing a, a race in october uh, that's gonna be columbus marathon so i got plenty of time to train for this and i'm excited for this one too so hopefully i'm gonna be able to get the qualifying time thank you guys so much again and please subscribe to my channel and see you in my next video